Hey, what is good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll be discussing 2D texture coordinates and how to center the origin to make it easier for you to create symmetrical or centered shapes and cool visual effects. So as always, I'm using Metal API. However, these concepts can be applied on OpenGL, Vulkan, or any other graphics framework. Now, in the previous video, we talked about normalized coordinates and we say that Metal uses a normalized coordinate system to render and position our primitives and geometry on the screen and we say by default it ranges from negative one to positive one on both the x and y axes however texture coordinates are slightly different they range from zero to positive one on the x-axis and zero to positive one on the y-axis with the origin being at the top left corner on metal graphics apis whilst on the other graphics frameworks the origin is at the bottom left so do keep that in mind so in situations whereby we want to render circles or symmetrical patterns or polygons on a 2d quad this default configuration is not ideal as we would like the origin at the center and not at the top left corner so to center this we need to understand that each pixel has its own position on the screen and if we pass a texture with the range of 0 to 1 the fragment shader will interpolate from 0 to 1 on both x and y axes in parallel therefore to get the center of the x axis we simply need to get the midpoint between the range 0 to 1 and that is 0 0.5 and we can take that 0 0.5 and subtract it from both of the values doing the math 0 minus 0 0.5 gives us negative 0 0.5 and 1 minus 0 0.5 results in 0 0.5. This becomes our new range negative 0 0.5 to positive 0 0.5. And if we do the same on the y-axis, we end up with the same range and this is how it looks like visually. And if we multiply by 2, we get a new range negative 1 to positive 1 and this is more ideal to work with and just like that ladies and gentlemen you have centered your origin <laughs> now that's just one way to center your origin another way is by simply multiplying the u and v values by two and subtracting one from the result and this will give you the same effect as the first method just like so and well that is it graphics developers you have successfully centered the origin of your uv coordinates Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting tutorials on graphics programming and game development. If you have any other questions or comments, please leave them down below. Happy coding and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.